G'day and welcome to another 360 panorama video. Today we're featuring Wanji Wanji. My name's Steve and thank you for clicking the link. We're taking off from Dobell Park and rising to 120 metres before we do our 360. It's a slightly longer video as we're uh, fighting the winds of the day. To the right you can see the CBD of Wanji and across the bay is the next nearest suburb of Arcadia Vale. Wanji Wanji is actually a peninsula that juts out eastwards from the western shores of Lake Macquarie. As of 2011, it had a population of 2,670 people. However, this swells during the holiday season because Wanji is well known for its beautiful views, bushwalking and fantastic fishing spots. Early travel to the peninsula was quite difficult. The only access was by ferry. There were three ferries, one called the Wanji Wanji, one called the Azile, and another one called the First Wanji Queen. Off into the distance, you can see Poolbar Island. The word Poolbar is an awabakal word that means island. It is a 68 hectare island in the southern end of Lake Macquarie, the largest island within the lake. It is well known for its spotted gums and its goannas, and it's 1.6 kilometres long. It is often thought that the name Wanji Wanji means water water, as the peninsula is surrounded on both sides, but two other suggestions are that it could mean place of many night owls or many trees. It was once occupied by the Awabakal Aborigines in the locality referred to as Wandi Wandi on the 1826 map. The first European to settle in Wanji Wanji was Edward Gostick Corey of Patterson. He did little to the land, he selected 500 acres here in 1829, but didn't do much with it. Its readily observable approach to the narrow neck apparently made the peninsula very popular with cattle thieves at one time. The thermal power station here opened in 1958, but is now closed. Moyuna Colliery opened in 1981 to supply coal to the Araring power station. One of the main attractions of Wanji Wanji is the Dobell House, located at 47 Dobell Drive and accessible from 1pm to 4pm Saturdays, Sundays and public holidays, or by arrangement. The house is maintained by a committee and is historically as accurate as possible to reflect the life and artistic genius of its famous owner, William Dobell, and it encouraged visitors of every level. In its early days, Wanji Wanji was just well known as a holiday spot for families coming in from the coal fields out to the west. However, with two beautiful bays, it is well known as a sheltered spot for mooring a boat and coming into the CBD to enjoy many of its commercial entities, some of which include pizza shops, service stations, a pub, a cafe, RSL, and many others. So as we come into the park to land, I'd just like to say thank you for viewing and commenting. If you would like to see a similar video done in another Lake Macquarie region, feel free to email me or send me a message. Thank you very much.